My name is Julia Grosbeer, and this is a presentation through the Milken Institute of Public Health called Maternal Depression and Child Externalizing Behaviors. We chose to study maternal depression because approximately 11% of women with children aged 1 to 4 years are identified with depression. These statistics made us wonder what kinds of effects maternal depression could have on the behaviors of a child, particularly toddlers. We decided to analyze the effects of child sex on the interaction between maternal depression and child externalizing behaviors because previous studies have found that males exhibit higher levels of externalizing problems than females. We recruited mothers in their first trimester of pregnancy from an urban hospital. One non-smoking mother was recruited for every two smokers, and these participants were matched on maternal age and education. When the child was 24 months of age, we used maternal reports of the Beck Depression Inventory to measure levels of maternal depression. Mothers were considered to have high levels of depression if they scored a 17 or higher on the BDI, as a score of 17 or higher marks clinical levels of depression. We measured externalizing behavior through maternal report of the Child Behavior Checklist for 1.5 to 5 years at the 36-month visit. We used univariate analysis of variance to examine the differences in externalizing behavior. Results of this ANOVA are presented in Figure 1. As you can see, child externalizing scores are on the y-axis while our two categories, low maternal depression and high maternal depression, are on the x-axis. Male children are represented by blue bars while female children are represented by orange bars. It's clear that children of mothers with high levels of depression have higher mean externalizing behavior scores than children of mothers with low levels of depression. It is also clear that male and female children have approximately equal externalizing behavior scores within each depression group. This indicates that maternal depression does not affect males differently than females. Our results are consistent with previous studies indicating an association between maternal depression and child behavior problems. Contrary to our hypothesis, child sex did not have an effect on the interaction between maternal depression and child externalizing behaviors. These findings suggest that interventions designed to reduce maternal depression at two years postpartum may have significant effects on levels of child externalizing behavior in preschool age. This may have a long-lasting impact on reducing risk for teen delinquency or adult crime.